Sweet deal, you made it. Now we're going to add a rotator. We're on the rotator page now, and as you see, there's not much information because we haven't created our rotator yet. So the first thing we'll do is click Create New down at the bottom right of this top box. Now we have our rotator listed here. It's not information yet because we haven't finished setting it up. We'll just click Modify next to it since we want to edit the settings to add some sites. All right, now down at the bottom where it says Rotator Stats, this section again is kind of blank because we haven't added any yet. We can use this little drop-down box to add our sites. If the site you want to add is not listed, well, it's because you haven't created a, a tracker for it yet. So go to Tracking and Sites, and you can add the site there. There's a video on that page um, to help you out with it. You start this in alphabetical order, so that'll help you out to find them if you have a huge list. I don't have very many on this account, but on my main one I have a ton. So the alphabetiz alphabetization, <laughs> easy for me to say, uh, can help you find them a lot easier. Now that I've added the sites, the first thing I want to do is is uh, change the name. It's kind of hard for me to remember, you know, if they all say no title, which one is which. So I'll just mark this with my splash page rotator so I can remember it later. I'll save that. Uh, right now I have it set to rotate them in order, meaning that it'll show them in the order they're added. Just one, two, three, one, two, three. It'll keep cycling them like that. But we can also choose to view them randomly in which case it'll just randomly pick one of the sites I've added. We can also view the least viewed one first, which means whichever one has the least amount of views in this rotator is the one that will show up. So, so for example, if you reset a site or add a new one, it'll show just that one until it's caught up with the others, and then it'll show them evenly. You know, just whichever one has been viewed the least amount of times is the one it'll show. And we can also prioritize the sites. This allows us to change the priority. So if we wanted this one to show up maybe an average amount of times, you can put it at normal. But I want this one to show up more often. So I'll put it at high. And maybe this one I don't want to show up very much. So I can set it at low. This allows us to have certain pages show up more often. So we're having a special promotion or one page that seems to work better but we still want our other ones to also show. We can set it at high so it'll show up more often, but we'll still get views to the other sites too. Of course, you can change this kind of stuff to whatever you'd like. We also have the, the rotator bar. I'll copy my rotator URL so I can show you that. I'll just copy and paste it on this page. And here we see the rotator bar is at the top. This is the generic rotator bar. It's not branded or anything. It just has the affiliate toolbox emblem on here. This is good because it adds some passive advertising to your site. So now you, your main focus, obviously, is the splash page. But if someone's curious about the tracking you're using or the rotator, they could click on the link up here. It'll have your affiliate ID attached to it. So if they sign up, you can earn some commissions, 50% uh, if you're upgraded. That's a add some passive promotion there. We also have the branded, the branded rotator bar. This is the one I prefer because it adds some extra branding to it. It has my gravatar and my name and my social networking information here. This way if somebody saw my page and they weren't really, they're on the fence about it. They want to ask me some questions. There's lots of ways for them to get a hold of me, whichever they prefer. You know, if they like to Skype, they could Skype me. If they prefer Twitter, they could send me a tweet. Of course, it has my name and gravatar for some branding. You can also choose where you want to have the bar. You can have it on top like we saw, or we can choose to put it on the bottom, which you'll see here. Now we have it at the bottom. And you can also choose to have no bar at all. We can hide the rotator bar. And now when we go to the page, it won't list it at all. If you don't want to have that advertising or the branding, that's totally fine. Whichever setting you want to do, um, Try them out, whichever works best for you. You're not going to mess anything up. You know, if you change it and go, oh man, I didn't want to do that, you can always change it back. Um, the last thing to, to note here is to exclude domain. This kind of confuses people. For the most part, you won't need to change it at all, as it'll automatically add, add what's needed for the site you're advertising. 
Um, but what it is is something that, that will make it not show up on that page. So for example, the traffic swirl splash page. I don't want it to show up at traffic swirl. So I will exclude traffic swirl.com. You know, that'll be filled in there by default. I can delete it, you know, leave it blank if I want. Or if I want a different site to be excluded, I can add that in there. You know, whatever you want to do, it's fine. You can always change it later. Nothing's permanent, set in stone. You can play around with it. You're not going to break anything. But if you get stuck or have any questions, you can just hit the support button on the top. Um, that'll let you get a hold of me directly. You can come to one of our support conferences or leave a ticket. I also have live chat, Skype, Twitter, Facebook. You know, any way that's easier for you to get a hold of me to help you out. I want to make this site work for you the best it can. So feel free to hit that button. Ask me any questions. You know, now we've added our, our sites. We've added it to a rotator. Now we can talk about adding banners. So if you want to go to the tracking and then choose banners, I'll see you on that page and I'll show you how to start tracking banners as well as page websites. If you want to click that button now, I'll show you there. i got a video on top waiting for you. All right, see you there.